Je vous parlais dans cette présentation. Dans ma présentation, je vais vous parler de l'hôpital urbain. Heat Islands. The uh, Intergovernmental Panel IPCC agrees on the fact that in the future there will be more intense and more numerous extreme events such as heat waves. Therefore, in order to increase resilience to climate changes, some towns have adopted strategies to mitigate the uh, urban heat island effect, strategies that can be applied on the uh, city's scale, but also on the scale of a district in town. What is an urban heat island? It means a localized increase in air temperature in urban areas, meaning that the uh, temperature inside the town is greater than outside of the town, and also that there is a lesser decrease of the temperatures at night. This is a mix of anthropic and natural origins, also due to the fact that uh, temperatures uh, increase in town. This is partly due to anthropic activities, such as the decrease of natural cover with plants, the change in um, the materials used to build towns which is no longer waterproof, the urban morphology, and finally, human activity generating pollution. What are the impacts of uh, urban heat islands? Urban heat islands will exacerbate intense heat episodes such as heat waves and have a detrimental effect on uh, human health. They contribute to air pollution because some uh, pollutants concentration depend on the air temperature. They also increase, increase phenomena such as smog and uh, the worsening of uh, the quality of air, including inside buildings. Oppressive heat accentuated by urban heat islands can cause discomfort, but also potentially lethal diseases such as cardiovascular diseases. The uh, heat wave in 2003 showed this type of uh, phenomenon in a dramatic way in some French cities, but also in European cities. No populations, obviously, uh, are protected from this phenomenon, but young children and elderly people are even more sensitive. What can be done locally to uh, fight against urban heat islands? The urban environment is characterized by uh, high density of buildings and constructions, and the fact that uh, the town is mineralized. Therefore, these materials will uh, retain heat, absorb and retain heat during the day, and then release the heat at night. In order to mitigate the impact, it is necessary to change the surface materials. Some things can be done when buildings are being built, for instance, by using materials which have a high capacity of reflectivity or using uh, light-colored paintings on sidewalks, uh, roads, uh, and uh, parking lots. And finally, walls uh, and uh, houses should be also painted in lighter colors as well as roofs. Strategies can be adopted uh, for the greening of towns. Uh, this is probably the most adopted approach. Greening allows to uh, bring the temperatures down locally by increasing the uh, rate of uh, humidity due to evapotranspiration. There are several provisions, several measures that can be used and even used in combination, such as the creation of green spaces, gardens and parks, and also planting uh, trees uh, in order to decrease the temperature on the ground, but also in the buildings. It is also possible to uh, adopt the strategy of green roofs protecting buildings from sun rays, 
it's possible also to plant vegetation in the parking lots and in the gardens. Now, this greening strategy has many advantages. First of all, it improves the air quality. It makes urban areas easier to live in. Town dwellers like to uh, find uh, green spaces. It allows uh, also water to run off and penetrate rather than be evacuated in the sewage uh, network. Some building materials are totally waterproof. Therefore, water will not become infiltrated in the ground, but it will run off on the waterproof materials. There is an increased risk of uh, runoff and an increased risk of flood. Sustainable management of uh, rain water is a good way also to fight against uh, urban heat islands. Strategies can be adopted uh, with uh, alternative techniques. For instance, um, techniques that allow to keep the water where, it, where it's fallen rather than allowing it to run off, encouraging biodiversity and decreasing air temperature locally. These techniques include uh, lawn-covered ditches, draining trenches, uh, green roofs, uh, or permeable roads and streets, so that water can again play a role in the uh, urban landscape. Water management in urban landscapes also match, meets the need for a better urban management. Citizens and town dwellers are given access to uh, beautiful places uh, and green places that also help improve uh, the urban landscape uh, and make life more comfortable. For instance, they have access to uh, ponds and lakes, uh, fountains and uh, water, reflective uh, ponds, water mirrors. Also, uh, Surface can be covered, surfaces can be covered in water, such as is being experimented in Lyon to decrease temperature. Now, water management requires a more global strategy, a national strategy regarding uh, urban planning and planning of transport uh, means. These strategy can be integrated in uh, land planning, uh, development planning, or the efforts made to improve life in town. Several applications are available for townships or building contractors and town dwellers to fight urban heat islands and improve uh, quality of life in town and also decrease health hazards due to heat.